community representative in Lewisham. The inquest into the death of three men hit by a car during the riots has opened. David Crabtree is at Birmingham Coroner's Court, joins us now live. What's the procedure there, David? Well, it was uh, about a 15-minute hearing, uh, re relatively brief. We did hear a bit of detail about what happened on the night after we heard the cause of death. Uh, two of those young men died from uh, spinal injuries, another died from uh, a head injury. We heard from Detective Superintendent Richard Baker from West Midlands Police, who's in charge of this operation. And the coroner had asked him for an outline of, uh, a brief outline of what happened on that night. He said when the police arrived, they arrived within, uh, they believe, a few minutes of it, uh, of it happening, uh, that three men were lying uh, on the pavement and had injuries from which uh, they, they later died. Uh, this is uh, Detective Superintendent uh, Baker at the moment. He, he isn't giving any full details uh, outside the court. What he did say inside the court was that they had some significant CCTV images of the actual accident itself, of the, the speed of the car. What he said was vital now is that they had more information from the public. He said people really must come forward. They, they've taken 60 statements so far, but they believe that there may have been 80 plus people on the streets and they've said that there will be anonymity. They will really protect the identity of anybody who is concerned about giving evidence. And he said that no matter how small, it might be the final piece uh, in the puzzle. He said it's vital that they find out who was driving the car in question. It's also vital to find out who was in the car. Uh, there may have been four people in that vehicle. Uh, he said that it was uh, abandoned in a side street about 200 metres away and had been burnt out. So big appeal for help. Now this uh, court has been uh, adjourned. The coroner said there might not be any need uh, for a full inquest because he said uh, in the uh, fullness of time there will be a full Crown Court case and he said he hoped for the sake of the family that they would get justice in this extraordinary and exceptional case. David, thank you. In Manchester,